Considering the topic of today's video, I decided it would be appropriate to have some special guests. So everyone, say hello to Jimmy Lecoq. He's just come here to do the thing that he likes to do the most. But what the hell, what? <laughs> I just wanted to say that I'm very pleased. Shut the fuck up, nobody cares. Sneeko's beefs are piling up like the number of women that Genghis Khan got to reproduce with. And I mean, I didn't know much about this dude, to be honest. But I did some research, and I mean, the first thing I found out about this individual is that he willingly let other men have an intercourse with the girlfriend that he cares about. And not only that, he openly said that every single young man should try it out at least once. Oh, hold on. Wait, how close was it? That he, he, we were on the same wait, bed. Wait, I was yeah, with his wait. girl, he was with my girl. He like, was right on here. the bed? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so what did, what did I, I couldn't like it was just, I was literally having PTSD watching that. I was like having war flash. <gasps> and my girl's right here and she's like, eh. and I'm like, oh yo. I'm like like feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It, lots, I, but I think it's something everybody should do. Just to test. You know what? You know what? You should tell me smack I don't know what you think about it, but when you try to research someone and this is the first thing or one of the first things that you find out about them. Well, that says a lot. It's like going to school on the first day and this one kid introduces himself like, Hi, I'm Jeffrey and I'm a cock. Hi, Jeffrey. The only masculine boy in a corner of the classroom going like, ha, ha. He's a cock. He said he's a cock. What the f Then the teacher just goes all volatile like, What's your fucking problem, you misogynistic piece of shit? He's empowering his woman and you cannot do anything about it because you are a misogynistic piece of shit. I'm not here to roast Sneeko. I don't really care about all those YouTube beefs. And I think Penguin Zero has done this job just perfectly. Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You want to? You want me to watch your clips? Or watch my clips. <laughs> but he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. The same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. I'm not here to roast Sneeko, but I just wanted to use it as an opportunity to talk about a much more serious issue, which is an issue of young men in this society, in a Western society. Young men in this society, in a Western society, fetishizing something as disgusting as cuckoldery. And you might be thinking, oh, cuckoldery, that's, that's just some weird Redditors stuff, like some weirdos on Reddit or some random dudes on Pornhub. No. According to statistics, a lot of young men in relationships fantasize about being cocked. And it does not include guys who actually acted upon this fantasy. It's just about the fantasy itself, which is, which is the point of this video. I'm not here to talk about guys actually acting upon it. Just the thought itself, just the fantasy itself says a lot about the young men. And according to this CNN article, acting upon such fantasy among couples is not a sign of unhealthy abusive relationship. As a matter of fact, couples that take part in such such kinks are actually very healthy. Yeah, I guess they are perfectly healthy couples, except that the man in the relationship has a bigger vagina than the woman. But, but besides that, perfectly healthy couple, like, like, no problem whatsoever. And th that's the problem of the approach towards this issue, right? Because in a Western society, sexual intercourse has essentially been stripped down to just being a physical activity serving for pleasure. It's been stripped off of its meaningful purpose, which is an intimate connection between a husband and a wife. And if you're gonna look at it from the first perspective, right, the Western perspective, like, oh yeah, fair enough, it's just two consenting adults or more consenting adults, whatever, acting upon their fantasies, having fun. What's the problem with that? You misogynistic piece of shit. 
Uh. But if we actually gonna act and think like mentally healthy people and not degenerates, you, we actually gonna realize how much of a problem it is. So here's how it goes. As a cuckold, you are willingly putting yourself in a position of inferiority to another man. You essentially letting him beat you in a competition towards status in a social hierarchy. You're giving him a woman that you hold dear, your wife, your girlfriend, he's having his way with her while you're just sitting there and watching doing nothing. A nation of men who enjoy being submissive. Not only submissive, but they actually enjoy it. Such a nation, well, how to say it in scientific terms, is fucked. Ask any bloodthirsty conqueror in the history of the world, like Genghis Khan. What? His dad? Do I look like I care? Read a history book for once. Call some shaman from South America to come, throw some magic powder into your face, make you drink ayahuasca, and make the spirit of Genghis Khan speak out of your butthole. The point is, any conqueror in the history of the world would tell you that in order to dominate his enemies, what they would do is first physically dominate them, kill the men in their army, right? D destroy their architecture, raid their villages, destroy their supplies and so on and so on. Then, after victory is secured, what usually happened? Rape. The victors would take the women of the beaten nation, they would have their way with them. They would take them as sex slaves. So what do you think will happen to a nation whose men are not only physically weak, unable to do a single push-up, swimming in pleasure all day long, but they also turned submission into a literal habit. In situations of high stress, we always revert to our habits. That's what you always learn in self-defense classes or in martial arts classes, right? Like you revert to the things that you drilled into your head through training or through habits. So if you get into a fight as a martial artist, you will instinctively do a jab, a cross, left hook, right hook. You won't have to think about it. If you are a coward, you never did martial arts, you are a little bitch, you know. You will get knocked the fuck out. To just swinging wildly, hoping you get to hit the guy in front of you. Or you will freeze like... <laughs> but you know what I mean. In a situation of extreme stress, like battlefield, like war, a nation of men who literally turned weakness and submission into something positive, into a habit, into a lifestyle, what do you think they will revert to? They will revert to their habit. They will submit to their enemy, either consciously or, or subconsciously, during the, the war. It's a serious issue, guys. I know this video started off as like this, oh yeah, Siko is a cock, ha <laughs> ha Yeah, this issue is going really, really deep. And yeah, that's just something for you guys to think about. That's about it. And as always, keep your balls full and your stomach empty.